So I was sitting here thinking about call centers and where they come up with the idea of an average talk time of seven minutes per call for your average talk time. And this is what it came up with. So I've got my handy dandy calculator here. So let's say I'm working in an eight hour day. I'm working eight hours a day and I take 80 calls per day. So that's 80 calls per day times seven minutes on average per call. That's 560 minutes for just one customer service representative employee within a call center. You want, and let's say it's a large corporate call center, 1,500 people. Multiply that times 1,500, 1,500. That equals 840,000 minutes per day in a 1,500-man call center. Now, the thing that a lot of you may not know, I work in telecommunications, and the IT people and the telecom people in the corporations are charged for a cost per minute for the inbound toll-free 800 lines. So if say Verizon Wireless has 1-800 Verizon, anytime a customer calls that number, the company is charged for the toll-free number. Not the customer, but the company is charged a cost per minute for that inbound call. So once that number terminates into the company's phone system and is answered, the clock starts ticking and the company starts getting charged by the local phone company or the long distance phone company by a uh, cost per minute for the time that that call is engaged with that toll free number. So you figure if they've got 840,000 minutes per day, on a leased toll-free number, let's just say usually the cost per minute on these toll-free numbers is low for the corporations because they're such a high, high volume. So let's say that they're being charged three cents a minute, three cents a minute times the eight hundred and forty thousand. That's twenty-five thousand two hundred dollars per day for a fifteen hundred man call center. Over. 30 days, that's $756,000 per month in a 1,500-man call center doing an average of a 7-minute talk time or 80 calls per day. You multiply that times 12 months, on an average, the call centers are spending in telecom costs just for the cost per minute over nine million dollars probably on, on an annual basis to receive inbound toll-free numbers so this gets quite expensive and this isn't doesn't even include the cost of the equipment on site where the toll-free numbers are terminated and the routers and the um, <clears throat> automated answering systems the VRU I think they're called voice response units and things like that they've gotten very advanced so this gets quite expensive. So you figure that's just that's just just for the call volume. So you figure nine million dollars for the call volume. Say you're paying each rep thirty thousand dollars a year in salary times fifteen hundred. So they're spending an additional forty five million dollars a year in salary. Plus nine million. That's fifty-four million right there, just between salary and talk time. <laughs> then you throw in insurance benefits, which is probably costing them how much per employee? Like a thousand per employee, so fifteen hundred times twelve. That's probably eighteen thousand dollars per month. In insurance benefits for health benefits times 12 that's another 216,000 my numbers are probably a little bit off but they're spending probably any probably half half a million dollars I'm sorry not half a million 
they're spending close to probably a hundred million dollars a year in salary insurance benefits and the average talk time and all that stuff is such a huge expense which I'm just trying to figure out where they come up with a seven minute talk time so they must have it averaged out like seven minutes is the breaking break even point I think where if it gets longer than that and that and this said uh, that's assuming that the talk time is seven minutes not too many people have reached the seven minutes so they're probably spending nine ten to nine twelve nine to twelve million dollars just in talk time from the least toll free numbers from the phone company which is why these call centers are, are going to go away they're just too expensive they're probably i bet you're spending any from 100 to 200 million dollars a year to run one that's just one call center so let's just say on average let's just say on average that Verizon Wireless I don't know if these numbers are accurate let's say with salary and talk time and all this stuff they're spending let's say they're spending a hundred million on one call center just for the 1500 employees that's not the cost of training that's not the cost of utilities and insurance to keep the building open and water running and things like that let's say they had they, I think Verizon at one time had 16 call centers and they've closed like half of them I think they only have like eight left <laughs> man good lord I mean my calculator doesn't even get that big that's uh, one billion six hundred million 1.6 billion dollars is probably 1.6 billion is more than likely an accurate number of what's being spent for every call center and like Verizon Wireless to keep the call centers open and running and to keep them staffed and to keep the calls coming in I had another video about this <clears throat> about how expensive it is to run a call center this is just an impromptu video because I'm sitting here thinking about this and it's got to be a phenomenal cost it's got to be more expensive than that I think my numbers in my other video are way off because if you throw in the cost of utilities, liability insurance, um, and that's not including the, the the salaries of all the managers. I mean, you figure you have you have a fifteen hundred man call center, and let's say there's teams of thirty. That's fifty teams. So you've got to pay fifty managers who are probably making five dollars more an hour. That's crazy. So let's say they're making 18 bucks an hour times 40 is 720 times 52. So they're paying managers, say they're paying managers 37,000 a year times 50 managers. That's another million, 1.8 million a year just, just for the manager salaries on top of the 9 million in talk time and everything else. So it's, I bet you these call centers, each call center costs them probably close to two billion dollars a year just to maintain and operate call centers around the country if they just have them here so that's probably why they're outsourcing everything to India you know what they're they're paying us to do it for thirteen dollars an hour they can pay somebody in India or Vietnam to do it or the Philippines to do it for two three dollars an hour so this is I just figured out that the average talk time is probably a number that they've given their statisticians statisticians and their accountants and their actuaries have sat down and said seven minutes is the break-even point is the point at which we can budget our numbers for, for the uh, for an annual basis if, if you're if your overall call centers are talking more than seven minutes it's going to start hurting the numbers and it's going to start being ineffective cost wise it's going to be a detriment cost wise to talk longer than seven minutes I don't know what else it would be I don't know how they came up with seven minutes. I, I've never figured out how they came up with seven minute talk time. Let me know what you think of my numbers. I made another a video about this a couple years ago, and I think my video numbers were way off. PT Pop. Signing off, baby.